Today should be interesting. I've had the clutch for a little bit now. After we found out the clutch was slipping in the Z, it wasn't my fault. But we have our Z in the shop today. We got a clutch. We're gonna tear this thing apart, get the clutch all fixed, stop it from slipping. Then we're gonna take the rear diff out so we can get it welded from the guys down at UPP so that this thing can actually slide instead of one wheel just slipping. I'm pretty excited. We're gonna get underneath, we're gonna jack it up, we're gonna see what's going on with our clutchy clutch. Alright guys, so we got our boxes for the clutch here. Uh, we ended up not going with the nice one, like ACT or anything. We went with the cheap ones. So let's see. There's no branding. No, there's no branding. <laughs> there's no branding. It came in like U USPS Wait, flat rate boxes. Get one of the boxes. <laughs> you know it's legit when you order a clutch and it comes in this. Okay. So whatever. It's probably better than ACT. I don't know. I don't know about it that, is. but we're gonna find out. Okay, we got clean surface before installation. I would hope so. Okay, so we got a flywheel. That's a, it's a start. It's not hot spotted already, so it's not used, so that's a start. Oh boy. So we ended up not going with a puck clutch because some of these kids around here that are gonna drive the car probably aren't the best at driving manuals. You can't drive manual. <laughs> <laughs> So we went with this so it's a little bit more user friendly. Uh, it is upgraded, or so it says, so it should hold some clutch kicks. Obviously we're not making any more extra power, so it should be just fine. We got that steezy pressure plate. White? Okay. Hey, doesn't that go behind the wheels? That Yes, it's a brake rotor, correct. I mean, that's steez. We got our alignment tool, we got a pilot bearing, or a throwout bearing, excuse me, and maybe a pilot bearing. I don't know if this car has a, Pilot bushing or pilot bearing. You know, we're new to this Z thing, so at this point, we're gonna run whatever they gave us and hope for the best. Okay, throw out bearing. So, we have everything. <laughs> oh, so sorry. I think you stepped on a frog. <laughs> dude, dude, that was wet. Dude, I think I shit myself. <laughs> Okay, I mean, everything's here, so cheap clutch kit. <clears throat> Let's get into it, I guess. We got big boy bolts, we've got a bolt back here, and axles. Cool. The diff should be easy so we can get that over to Scott so he can weld it. Gross. The worst smell. Gear oil is disgusting.
I'm I forgot, like, I'm I like, forgot one bolt. Hey man, are you sure you have all the bolts out on your side? We've done this twice now. He says, yeah, uh-huh. I'm like, okay, well I definitely don't have any more on my side. Cho says, is that a bolt? <laughs> what? Oh, oh, weird. Yeah. I bet the transmission's gonna fall right out now. Oh, 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 oh. No way. <laughs> What happened? Tell us uh, what happened. Dude, what happened? is that a bolt? <laughs> dude. I'm not entirely sure what you would call this piece, but it's part of the uh, clutch fork assembly. But it's basically like pressed onto the throwout bearing. So we have to take this and hammer it off. There she goes. All right, now out. There it is. Nice. That works super well. I'll be honest. I'm tired of doing this clutch, man. I need to go bother someone else. Sure. Man. No, what are you doing? Just wrapping this Tesla. What, what film are you using? Uh, this is Flexi Shield. It's a newer product. Uh, I believe this color is called Coral Blush? Peach Blush. Just kidding, Peach Blush. Is Flexi Shield an easy film to work with? Uh, I wouldn't say it's a beginner's film. It definitely requires a different technique than, say, your like, big name uh, vinyl companies. I wouldn't say it's overly complicated. You just have to pay attention a lot. Uh, the properties of it are slightly different. Uh, it makes it a little bit more challenging especially as a solo installer. Um, so sometimes you'll need some assistance. It's like doors and flatter panels. Easy, you can do it all by yourself. But stuff like bumpers, complex hoods, trunks, this stuff does leave adhesive lines fairly easily. It's extremely tacky. But with all this, this is probably the best possible finish you can get for film. I'm gonna be tackling our oil pan gasket. We're gonna see how bad the gasket is, but we're gonna drain the oil, put in a new filter. We'll crack this thing open. So we got our oil pan off. Gotta get the RTB off. All we have is reassembly. We're gonna put the cover back on the diff and then put that in the car, put the transmission in the car, put all the wires back in, put all the bolts back in. Should work. This lets us know we're in business, ladies and gentlemen. It's a good thing.
Okay, so we'll start it and then once it's idling, push the clutch in, put it in first, slowly let the clutch out. First gear. We did it. First try. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, we're leaking, we're leaking, we're leaking. That's okay. I think that's the cap. I think the yeah, bottle. cap's loose. Yeah. Oh, there. It's good though. Oh. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> All right, plug my hole. <laughs> so when we first picked it up, we talked about how much we hated these eBay tails because this bulb is disgusting. So Albert found a set of OE 350 tails. They're kind of busted, but we got them for really cheap and it might get banged up anyway. So we're just going to rock these instead of these. So we're going to get these pulled out and swapped over. That made my back hurt. Look at that. That's way better. <laughs> we got that on video. Dude. I know, dude. My back hurts. Now. That's a super light clutch. How's that clutch feel? Feels fine. It's really super light pressure plate. Seems like it worked to me. No slipping. No slip. It's a start. Way better than what, what we started with. Bro, this welded diff is wild. Feels so weird to drive with. Clutch feels smooth. I don't feel any weird vibrations in the pedal. Gear changes. Gear changes feel good. Fresh fluid and everything, so it should feel right. I think it might need an alignment. It feels a little like. Torque going up the hill. Didn't, uh, no slippy. I think we did it, Joe. I think we did. I think we did the thing. Now we just gotta break this thing in to an extent before we start skidding. Or yeah. so they say, I don't know. We might, might act up. All right guys, so we went on our test drive. We drove about 160 miles through the mountains. Car did really well, no issues. Clutch didn't slip, diff didn't break. Everything works as it should. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take this and go have some fun and see if the diff and the clutch hold up to some abuse. Hopefully it does, but let's get it. Update. It works. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. 